नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू न्यू इंडिया जंक्शन दिस इज योर होस्ट दिव्या सिंह शर्मा ऑन एन आई जी डेली अपडेट योर फेवरेट जंक्शन फॉर टॉप ट्रेंडिंग पॉजिटिव एंड इंटरेस्टिंग न्यूज ऑफ द डे लेट सी द न्यूज इन स्टोर फॉर अस Indian Army Special Forces the ones mandated to operate behind enemy lines are looking for specialized drones that can provide 3D imagery of the terrain to launch covert operations the Ministry of Defence came out with a request for proposal RFP for such UAVs which will be processed as per the fast track procurement procedure under the emergency procurement The requirements are UAVs needed for round the clock surveillance with ability to scan target area provide process 3D scan image of targets the MOD wants to keep out any chinese parts and has asked the vendor to provide a nato stock number nsn for each item provided by a foreign maker The Ministry of Railways has shared pictures of India's first vertical lift railway bridge also known as the Pamban Bridge connecting Rameshwaram and Dhanushkodi rail links in Tamil Nadu with work updates 81% work complete 6 out of 99 girders launched the Pamban Bridge is expected to be completed by next year Indian Railways has been working tirelessly on increasing connectivity to remote areas. They recently completed its work on the world's highest railway bridge in Kashmir and are now nearing completion of another first of its kind project. The first vertical lift railway bridge will facilitate railways in carrying more weight with increased speed and volume of traffic and with the benefit of height the bridge will also allow ships and streamers to pass through it. Digital ho chuka hai India indicating an increasing adoption and usage of aadhar 25.25 crore ekyc transactions were executed via aadhar in september alone with 7.7% growth in such transactions compared with august and ekyc transaction is done only with the explicit consent of the aadhar holder eliminates any physical paperwork in person verification requirements for kyc The cumulative number of eKYC transactions via Aadhaar so far has increased to 1297.93 crore by the end of September 2022. In September alone, 21 crore AEPS transactions were carried out pan India. Aadhaar eKYC services is increasingly playing a crucial role for banking and non-banking financial services by providing better and transparent customer experience and ease of doing business. The Ministry of Electronics and IT said Aadhaar a digital infrastructure of good governance is a facilitator of both ease of living and ease of doing business the digital id is helping various ministries and departments in the center and at states in improving efficiency transparency and delivery of welfare services to the targeted beneficiaries so far around 1000 welfare schemes in the country run by both center and states have been notified to use aadhaar That's all for today. You can write your views in the comments down there and stay tuned to New India Junction. Follow NIJ on Insta, Facebook, Twitter and subscribe by ringing the bell on YouTube. For notifications, that's me Divya signing off. 